Hey guys, how are you? It's Emily from Redhound Reiki. I hope you are doing awesome. It is um, Wednesday night, <clears throat> July the 11th, and um, tomorrow is going to be the new moon in Cancer, um, and also a very um, slight eclipse. And um, it's expected to have some effect on everybody, so I wanted to try to do a reading tonight. However, I was at both kickboxing and Krav Maga, and I am exhausted and had to take a shower. And basically, I'm saying I could not put my face on camera, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm also wearing these stylish glasses so <laughs> I just couldn't do it anyway um, so I'm sorry for my terrible setup here but hopefully the messages coming through will be worth watching so um, this is really set to be kind of a challenging month for a lot of people um, but it's really one that's necessary to push a lot of us through some of the things that we've been working through um, so that we can get to where we need to be. Um, and that's somewhat apparent with this first card, the Two of Pentacles. Um, this is about that balance that I keep talking about, balancing um, the parts of ourselves, integrating the masculine with the feminine and integrating um, the opposite ends of ourselves, like the parts of ourselves that are, are extroverted and introverted or um, move quickly and move slowly, just all of those pieces of ourselves need to be integrated and balanced out to move forward because we're going into a really crazy time and we need to be prepared to to deal with that um a lot of people have been dealing with addictions too i'm getting that um especially um somebody's probably been dealing with an alcohol issue um so those kinds of things are being balanced out right now too I think that there are a lot of um, situations that are coming up that seemed at the time to be kind of a wish come true, like a wish granted, and um, they're in the past right now. So this could be like this could be the far past. This could be like like really far past or this could be like last week could be last month um, those things are coming up for review just to see if they still are what we thought that they were what we wanted them to be to see if we're getting if we're truly being fulfilled um, this card the nine of cups is about fulfillment wishes granted and it's really coming up for us to look at whether or not that was reality or whether it was um, a facade and it looks like what a lot of people are doing is actually moving away from whatever that was that it may have seemed that way at the time it may have been good for us at the time but this is not that time anymore and we are um, moving away from that with the six of swords um, so people might literally be moving. They might be changing location with their families. Um, they could be going overseas. They could be traveling to another country, moving. Um, but a lot of people, this is a journey over emotions, over the water of emotions in cancer season at the cancer um, new moon. So. The water here could very easily be emotions, um, but the Six of Swords talks about a journey away from a difficult time um, into something better. 
So this is growth, this is opportunity. Um, and the thing that they're traveling away from is this Nine of Cups. So it could be something like a situation that almost had us drunk, um, almost had us like um, in, you know, like when you're drinking, you're not your true self. You're not um, in your highest power. You're not um, in your healthiest state of mind. So this may have been a situation that seemed like a good idea, but eventually became um, addictive or codependent, if we're talking about relationships, or um, overindulgent in some ways, um, or just plain empty, like addictions. If you think of an addiction as, as like an empty uh, illusion of happiness, that's the thing that we're moving away from, the empty illusion of happiness. Um, and in order to do this, what's coming up is we need to be decisive and we need to be somewhat detached. A lot of us are in that detachment energy. Um, I think it's easier to ride out all of these crazy emotions that are coming up to the surface if you can accept them and feel them but also sort of view them with a little bit of healthy detachment and that is what we're being asked to do because in some of the, these cases we are going to feel some sense of loss um, we are definitely going to be cutting away and putting aside some things. The Queen of Swords cuts away. Um, the Five of Cups shows a loss of certain things in life. Um, while there still are other things standing, some things remain. So it's not a total loss, but... Um, Coming after the Queen of Swords, I feel like it's something that does bring you into balance and helps to bring you into a healthier place. Um, this is something you know you need to do. I'm getting that everybody, none of this is a surprise to anyone. Like, you know this is coming. You know this, this needs to happen. Um, the situation that surrounds it might be a surprise, but the thing itself that needs to be cut away you're not going to be shocked at all. Like, when it comes up, you're going to say, I knew this was coming, and I know this is for my highest good. Um, the card in the advice position is basically saying, like, notice this new cup that the divine is offering. Notice the things that are coming in because you've made space by removing the things that don't belong anymore, that belong to illusion or belong to facade or belong to addiction or belong just in the past. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean they were bad things. Um, but it can, you've outgrown them. It's time to move on. Um, and you need to notice this new cup because that's what's gonna take you out of this kind of um, feeling of loss or regret, um, disappointment. Let's see what else I'm getting here. Yeah, like this is like seize the opportunity. This eclipse is making the space for you to seize the opportunity that's coming up. So it actually is if you can even see the, I pulled three oracle cards also to go along with this. 
And the first one is blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually a part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. So that kind of um, confirms that you're clearing space for better things to come in. Um, the next oracle card is the heart chakra card. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand with perfect protection and guidance. So not only are a lot of people having like heart chakra activations right now with all the energy moving around and changing and raising vibration and people being called into service and all kinds of stuff, but we're really talking about an emotional, um, uh, an emotional event um, with the new moon in Cancer, and it also being a partial eclipse um, in Cancer season in July. So everything is water. Everything's emotions. Everybody's emotions are up and down, all over the place, really deep right now, and that's just the kind of. Um, energy that cancer brings. There's also a grand water trine coming up uh, at the same time with the three water signs. So that is really going to deepen all of those emotions. I'm no astrologer. I say this all the time, but I do read it and um, I do find that it affects my energy and a lot of other people's energy. So be aware of your emotions at this time and be aware again of this queen of swords energy where we kind of have to detach a little bit to um to be in our truth to be in our um stay in our higher mind as opposed to dipping so far down into emotions and potentially you know not um being able to grasp truth and uh, the final oracle card that I pulled is gentleness, and that's Archangel Sandalphon. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Um, that makes a lot of sense, because I think that this is probably a challenging time for a lot of people, and um, it's a time of healing. It really is, and we need to give ourselves the opportunity to heal, and... Um, that's not going to happen if you continue to put yourself in harsh situations and surround yourself with harsh people. So take some time away, take some rest, um, meditation every single day if you can for at least 10 minutes is really good for you. Um, I do have a meditation that I put together for uh, another client, but I can also share it with any of you who would like it. Um, just message me if you would like the link. I didn't make it public, but I will give it to individuals. Um, and um, make sure that you're letting your emotions come through, that you're feeling them as they come through your heart chakra and release them and realize that all of the things that are going on right now are a blessing. They're in your highest and best good. They are helping to clear all kinds of emotions and um, energy and karma and things that are connected to your ability to continue to ascend and be on your path um, and get into mission and doing all your work that you need to be doing at this time. If you're going through this, then you have a job to do. So. Um, be aware, get excited, and um, let's move through this initiation together and support each other and um, be kind to each other. Remember that this is hard on a lot of people and um, I will see you on the other side then. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in 
and um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more readings and other things that I put up. I'm hoping to do more than just card readings because that's not doesn't even scratch the surface of what I do. Um, but for now, this is like the easiest thing that I can do. And comment and share, and um, you can get readings or healing sessions by going to my website, um, redhoundreiki.com. I almost said my other business website. And um, I would love to talk to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye.